Hey all, Ashley here from Ashley Bright Crafts. Hope you're doing well. Today I have a new video for Doodlebug. This is featuring their Easter collection. And I will link um, information about the collection in the description bar below for you to check out. Um, but I am starting today with some shakers. And look at my lighting <laughs> in those blue shakers. It's so obvious. I use like these huge lights. Um, because I always film at night, but, um, but yeah, I am starting with some shakers, um, actually originally on those blue ones, I used wet glue, uh, but I switched to double-sided tape, even though it takes a little longer, I just think it comes out so much cleaner and nicer, so I, um, I've printed out some Polaroid frames, these are two and a half by... Uh, oh, sorry, these are three and a half inches by two and three quarters inches. And then I cut a square inside um, that just leaves a quarter inch uh, um, from three of the four sides. So it's easier for me to do my foam tape later. And I did that all in my cameo, but you don't need to do that. You don't need a cutting machine to do that, of course, uh, but just easier for me. And so, yeah, and then like I said, I use my double-sided tape to add uh, my acetate in and create my window. And then I cut my uh, foam tape to line all the sides really well for my shaker. And then now I'm adding in my little sequence mixes. I have two mixes that are really similar, one that's um, just got a little bit more blue in it for my blue frames and then one that has a little bit more mint in it for my green frames. And then I'm going to uh, just add a backing panel to each of these and carefully line everything up. and then repeat. So this is one of those projects that is kind of, it's super repetitive, but it's kind of relaxing in that way, I feel like. Um, so yeah, I made a bunch of these frames. And from here, once I've got these bases done, I am gonna work on the embellishments, but I just love seeing them all together. They're so cute. <laughs> um, just love how that sequence mix looks too. So uh, to embellish, I'm gonna pull out some of the mini icons from the sticker sheet. I absolutely love that mini icon sticker sheet for this collection, it's so cute and the icons are just adorable. And I love the sizing of them too. Um, just so many small little images that are perfect for embellishments, DIY embellishments like this which is originally what I was planning on doing. I was planning on just doing some DIY shaker embellishments and adding them to my stash. Um, but then I kind of changed my mind and decided to instead make this a mini album, um, just because it's all Polaroid frames and I just felt like doing that. And mini albums have kind of just been what I've been making a lot lately. Um, and so yeah, I did end up turning this into a mini album and adding some additional blank frames that you'll see here in a second. Because of course, um, you know, it's gonna, these aren't super easy to add pictures to, but um, I have some blank frames that can be, um, can be used for photos. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Just gonna continue to finish up pulling out all the icons I want and placing them kind of lining them up where I want them. All right, so here's the final project. I added all the shakers, um, added an eyelet to all the shakers and then attached them to my last pink binder ring. Um, but let's do a little flip through. I love how they look though all together, nice and bulky. Um, and yeah, so we'll do a flip through. These are uh, some charms just from my stash. And here's the first little bunny in a bucket with a little pom-pom tail and a shaker mix. And then, um, and then every other frame is just blank for photos. So these ones are all detached here and there's just stitching on the bottom. 
And then these little, I love this little icon, so cute, with the little bunnies in a car. Just so adorable. And blink one, and then this little Easter Express guy. <laughs> and then some, again, stitched vellum in the back there, and some um, shape sprinkles and glitter sprinkles. And this little bunny's on a bike. And then the blue, um, the blue frames, I try to add a little bit more of my blue sequins, and the green ones, I try to add a little bit more of my teal ones, just to have it all nice and matchy. And then here is this little hedgehog painting an egg. So cute, blank one. And then the last one is this little bunny on a bike. Um, so that is my completed project. I hope you guys like seeing how it came together. I don't normally use shaker frames this way, but I love it as a little mini album. Um, and um, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and like this video and comment down below and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.